everyone, my name is Diana Gonzandinidia and today I will be sharing with you my June law related favourites. I did make a separate video about my June general favourites, so if you're interested to find out, go and check the link down below and it will take you directly to that video. But today, in this video, is all about law related favourites. The first one, and I have it right here next to me, it is this book here. It is The Secret Barrister. I'm still halfway through, I'm still reading it. It is very interesting, not just about if you are going to be practicing law in the UK, but if you're interested to know about the uh, legal system in the UK itself and uh, the historical background that this book provides, it is very nicely and simply written. So if you're into that, then I would definitely recommend this book and also gives you a very a good insight about the a criminal practice in the UK, which is what I do. I do practice uh, criminal law. And uh, I did find this very interesting, very educational because I'm a very fresh face when it comes into, into crime. I have about uh, six years of experience, so some of them is in the UK, some of the other ones is in, in Cyprus, and uh, I would say some of them have been practicing simultaneously uh, when that was possible. So um, reading this book, it definitely provided me with a lot of uh, good uh, background foundation information and it allowed me to understand even better about how things ended up the way they are today. So if you would like to know, for example, uh, the strike that the barristers had about in relation to the legal aid and the cuts that they've been. And um, I know that from the 1st of April, we wouldn't take instructions for Crown Court matters. And uh, a vote has been, uh, has, has really um, given the uh, criminal barristers um, the right for them to say what they believe is the right thing to do in relation to the last deal that the government provided. And uh, I think it was 51% said that we should accept the deal from the government. That means the pot of money that they will provide for the legal aid, it was accepted. So this one gives a lot of insight information about the criminal practice and the, and the history of the legal system in the UK. Another very favourite of mine, it is this book. As you can see, it has been somehow destroyed <laughs> because it goes into my bag and uh, sometimes the, the circumstance into which this, uh, this book has been, the way it has been handled, it is such that you, know, you have to rush into the court or you have to grab it, just throw it in your bag. So I can say that it's doing really well in that, in, in that respect. So it's the Magistrate's Handbook by Blackstone's and it gives you um, a very, uh, not detail, but I would say it gives you as an outline about the sentencing guidelines, the law, and sometimes even the case law, which you can uh, read quickly through, and definitely you will need to read in more depth once you actually get your hands on Blackstone, if you go to the library. If you like myself, that you're still a young person and you still haven't got the uh, Westlaw subscription because it costs quite a lot for you to get that, <laughs> Uh, then you would actually go to one of the inns of courts uh, to read more about the respective uh, guidelines or more about the law itself and definitely reading case law it gives you uh, uh, very important information but at the same time a good understanding about how a section or how the act itself is implemented and sometimes it's about the practice itself so case law it's all about case law that's where you get all the juicy details and knowing how to handle your your case so this has been very very helpful for all my cases um, as a starting point so it is important to know how to get started so this is my starting point Another favourite, it is an Instagram account and it's called Lawyer Stories and I've been enjoying a lot to read um, stories from lawyers from different parts of the world and they sharing about how they ended up being lawyers. Some of them they have been having a lot of struggles to get to the point where they are qualified and whether they're doing what they're truly passionate about and it has been so inspirational reading their stories. So make sure you go and check out Lawyer Stories for you to get that kick of inspiration if you need it. Another interesting topic, I wouldn't say it's the favourite was, it, it will be the favourite was from a legal perspective by reading this case, which is the Jean-Pierre Bemba case, uh, which was tried before the International Criminal Court, and basically he's been acquitted on the 8th of June 2018 for war crimes and crimes against humanity. So if you're into about watching the trials, uh, the ICC does an excellent job of live streaming, I think, 20 or half an hour uh, with a, a half an hour 20 minutes delay uh, but you can also go into and I've got here my laptop so as you can see here you can just go directly onto the links down here and watch the trial yourself 
and uh, it, it definitely gives you um, a very good experience in relation to how councils the examining and cross examine um, in such important cases so jean pierre um jean pierre Bem, um, jean pierre bember case um he has been tried for war crimes and crimes against humanity and it was in relation to 2002 2003 crimes that have been committed in central africa in the republic of central africa so um he's still he's been detained in the court to be uh trialed for other um for other matters and i know that they have been now in the pre-trial chamber so it's an ongoing uh, situation about other offences that he's uh, he's been charged with and allegedly that he has committed. Lastly, I would like to share with you uh, the bag that I take with me to the court. It may not be the most fanciest of the bags, and I have it right here next to me. It is this one here, and it has. It's very. Uh, it looks very professional. I know it is. Uh, I think it's waterproof. I'm not quite sure now. Um, it's got this uh, nice orange detail and uh, it fits most of my stuff it doesn't fit if i would if i would have the archbold the gown and the wig then i would struggle and i would need to take an extra smaller bag on the sides with me so i'm still looking for a good bag that can actually be compact so i can have everything with me and i don't have to carry two bags by saying that most of the times i will have to take me with me lunch i will have to take uh, my high heels for the court the gown the wig the book sometimes even the um, the case file, if it's a, a lengthy trial, that I will need that uh, handwritten note and the uh, and the statements. So, if you can suggest to me anything, I will be mostly mostly grateful to you because even though it is good, it still doesn't fit everything I need to, uh, especially when it's as convenient as this one, where I could run when it's needed. Which most of the situations, it will be me running, perhaps from one court to another, or. Uh, you may be late or for whatever reason so this is quite handy i hope you enjoyed my tune law related favorites uh, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for weekly uh, videos and leave a comment down below if you are a lawyer and let me know what your favorites are it doesn't have to be june it has it could be absolutely anything um, i'm all about to you know discovering new things and speaking to uh, young lawyers themselves and to listen about your struggles and perhaps we could share our insights and how and how you you know and how you qualified and the circumstances in which you found yourself qualifying i would love to hear from you stay tuned for my next video whatever you're doing i hope you're well and i will see you very soon Bye-bye.